With many companies now adapting to the new ISO Environmental Management System, or ISO 14001-2015, here's how AGF can help you with a basic understanding of one of the major requirements of the standard, most notably identifying your organization's environmental aspects and impacts. The definition of environmental aspects per ISO 14001-2015 is an element of an organization's activities or products or services that can interact with the environment. While the definition of environmental impacts per ISO 14001-2015 is any change to the environment, whether adverse or beneficial, whether as a whole or in part, resulting from an organization's environmental aspects. The definition of an environmental aspect is any part of an organization's activities, products or services that can interact with the environment, positively or negatively. Therefore, initially using that statement, you should list all parts of your business in a register that have an effect. For example, waste streams, gas usage, electricity usage, water usage, transportation, oils, chemicals, and others. These can then be split into subcategories of electricity, air conditioners, lighting, compressors, equipment, and others. When identifying environmental aspects, all parts of the company's operations in the defined scope have to be considered, not just the obvious core manufacturing or service activities. For example, most facilities have a maintenance department, offices, a canteen, heating and cooling systems, vehicle parking, and contractor and supplier activities, each of which may have an impact on the environment. Once identified, determine what each aspect may cause to the environment. This is the impact portion of the register. Examples of impacts may be land pollution, air emissions, run off the land and water, or use of limited resources. Here's an example. Photocopying of paper in the office is an activity. When performing this activity, we need to consume paper and electricity while operating the photocopy machine. Consumption of paper and electricity are the environmental aspects of this activity. The environmental impact of this environmental aspect is resource depletion, where paper is made from tree and electricity is generated from oil or gas. Both of these sources can actually be depleted. The next step is to decide a scoring system, which could involve severity, occurrence, and detection. Relevant to your firm's environmental policy, cost, or environmental concern, make sure to award its environmental aspect a score to reflect the relative importance of the following items. These are legislation, the severity of environmental damage, reaction of interested parties such as customers and environmental groups, quantity, for example, the volume of the waste type. Aspects with high risk priority numbers should be assigned specific objectives, targets, and programs. Environmental objectives are the overall goals of the business organization in improving environmental performance through its environmental management system. Environmental targets provide short-term goals on the way to achieving these overall objectives. One objective can have several targets. For example, one target could be to reduce waste going to landfill by 10% in the first year. Your objectives and targets should be based on your environmental policy, information gained from your initial review, your aspect impact evaluation. They should aim to address any significant environmental aspects and should incorporate specific legal requirements. Ultimately, your aspects impacts register will help you establish your EMS objectives and targets. An EMS can often be more complicated than needed and the key to any effective EMS is getting the environmental aspect right at the very beginning.
identifying the environmental aspects properly will not only save you time, but also enable you to achieve great benefits with your EMS once it is implemented. For more information, visit our website at www.agfconsultinggroup.com. Thank you.